Good morning and welcome to this new Flyround video. Today I'm off to an early start as I'm flying on Air Europa from Madrid to Barcelona. Enjoy! I arrived at Madrid airport fairly early as my flight was scheduled to depart at 7.45 in the morning. Due to a delay on the inbound flight I would face an extra hour at the airport, not knowing that this would not be the only issue of the day. As part of the American Express Platinum Benefit program, I am allowed to visit different airline lounges at most airports around the globe. Just after passing through security, I walked straight to the Puerto de Alcala lounge. The lounge offers a decent amount of comfortable seating areas, as well as generous breakfast options that can get any traveler through the layover in Madrid. From here you have a perfect view on the apron so I can enjoy the landing of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner that will take me to Barcelona shortly. Air Europa's fleet is one of the youngest on the continent and will continue to grow. The Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner is known for being the new flagship aircraft in Air Europa's fleet. As of now, the airline received a total of 12 Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner with additional 8 following in the next couple of years. On board you will find 32 business class seats offering flat beds and another 303 seats in economy class aligned in a 3x3x3 configuration. All Dreamliner aircraft have individual entertainment system for the passengers on the backrest of the seat in front of you. Ahead of this flight I reserved seat 17k for an extra charge of 10 euros. The view on the beautifully shaped wing of the Streamliner definitely made up for the additional money I paid. Yet the seat itself was nowhere close to meet my expectations. I totally get when airlines want to turn around an aircraft as fast as possible to make up for a delay, but not at all costs. When opening the table as well as the seat pocket I was greeted by several chewing gums a finding that gives any passenger an uncomfortable feeling. Moments later, today's cabin crew walked through the cabin for a final safety check to confirm that we are finally ready for departure. With a delay of one and a half hours, the Rolls-Royce engines were powered on and the Boeing 787 was finally getting pushed back before taking us into the skies of Madrid. On our way to the runway, I was also able to capture the old Boeing 737-800 of Air Europa as well as the next generation Boeing 737 of Ryanair, called the Boeing 737 MAX 8. flight time today was announced to be just short of one hour and I was ready to make every second count. Thanks to a satellite connection, passengers can access all flight information, their social media, make online purchases or check their emails during the flight starting at a minimum price of 2 euros. Air Europa's Gusto Plus menu offers a range of tasty freshly cooked food options. Air Europa claims to offer special promotions on every flight designed to be enjoyed at any time of the day. In my case, it was time for lunch, so I ordered a lasagna paired with a coke. Following to my order, I also asked for a cleaning tissue to ensure that my table will look better than before. Another 10 minutes into the flight I received what I ordered, but somehow nothing wanted to go my way on this day. The packaging of the cutlery seemed to be covered in tomato sauce a while ago, 
and to match my previous experience, the more or less delicious looking lasagna was taken out of the oven a few minutes early. I do understand that the crew is facing enormous pressure on flights like this, but at this point the service flaws just added up and make this experience something I won't remember in a positive way. In the end I received my lasagna not 5 minutes but 15 minutes later with just around 5 minutes left before the crew needed to prepare the cabin for our descent into Barcelona. Air Europa might not have delivered a perfect hard and soft product on this flight, but the views on the dreamy city line of Barcelona were stunning. After all, I'm grateful for another interesting experience on board one of Air Europa's Boeing 787 Dreamliner on a flight within Europe. Flights like this are an amazing option for any Afgeek out there who wants to get a glimpse of what an airline is capable of providing on a long haul flight. The inconvenience I faced today were definitely unpleasant. For now, I just hope that Air Europa offers a better product on their long haul flights in economy class. The Boeing 787-9 as well as the chosen cabin design has a lot of potential for the airline and I'm excited to see what the future of Air Europa looks like. And just like that I'd like to thank you for following me on today's journey from Madrid to Barcelona and I hope to welcome you again in one of my next episodes.